Nine years left. And I 100% forgot to turn on the thing which tells us if we got the achievement or not. So I'm feeling really good about that. Well done, me. Couldn't have happened to a nicer person. <laughs> what are you guys fighting about? Tour war. Asian. There. We have turned many of our past followers away while losing ourselves in the spiral of self flourish tyranny. So we will be known as the Ruthless. And being part of that is absolutely terrible, honestly. National revolt risk plus 2%, a constant vassal opinion of minus 10. But it is easier to revoke vassal titles and to plot. Wow. That's, uh, that's something. That is something. Let's see if we can do peace for 10 years. And let us check the vassal opinions here. Vile blood of Emperor Eugenio III. Wow. This will make everything harder in the future. But, not to worry. We don't have much of a future in this. <clears throat> I wonder why you might consider doing this specifically. Like, why? Why would you want this? And especially, why are you even offered this if you're not particularly cruel to begin with? so much though Revis aren't we done with revisiting old laws okay now we have a while longer to survive on martial law and revisiting old laws oh boy to do around here step for wait so I think uh, we'll speed this up a bit more our son is doing stuff Some strong vassals needing bots. Apparently not, despite it showing so. Go into hiding. Why? Why would people try and kill us? Sounds like a bad idea. Look at all those threats. Everyone hates us. Luckily, they can't agree on how and what for they hate us most. And what should be the next step there. If they all rallied behind the same man, would be in a little bit of trouble, I believe. Especially since we don't really have any sort of outside pacts here. The all inside. Oh yeah, let's get an alliance with this guy. 
He has 2,000 troops at least to add to our own if it ever came to a rebellion. That encompassed more than just one thing. Let's just free this guy. Totally the act of a tyrant, eh? Built. Our income is slowly recovering after this is getting back to normal, but we will have to rebuild the trade post here. Yeah? Big, big shame. Rare gemstones. Sell them. Money is money after all. Just need to wait for the next trade post to be done. Info for Tier. We could go ahead, try and push this guy's claim or his kid's claim if he inherits it. Let's put this guy up. But we would have to go to war with all of this. trade route running and speaking of which this trade post is done let us upgrade it also brings up Why is this more? Why, why do we earn here more with it being undeveloped than over here? <clears throat> I shan't wonder about such trifling things. Someone is trying to rogue a title but doing weird things militarily. Fortier. Upgrade this entirely. Another courtier. Why? That's a lot of slots. Where's our son? Yeah, he will be our cupbearer. Dal can be this guy. Court tutor. This dude. And half brother can be a commander of ours. Did we just lose something again? Dynasty really isn't as strong as we would like it to be. Like this, this is nice. In terms of face paint.
want all the books that arrive. You guys lost a piece, didn't you? We will not be seduced. Not give stuff away. Wait patiently until... Oh, all the negative modifiers are gone already. Thought they would take longer. Why do people still hate us so much? Desires, desires, desires. It's by far no longer as bad as it was before. These few 40%. Let's just check out these names. Weak, Food, Monster, Unchaste. There's a whole lion heart in here, and the rest is just kind of terrible. I feel we are a fitting ruler. If only this was like plot defense or something. a kingdom title, but why would we? Almost looks like everything is unlocked for us to revoke. We're no longer zealous. <clears throat> One of our kids died of cancer. Shame. Can we switch this again? Yes, yeah, so what should we switch it to? Let's go for hunting focus, why not? We have a whole friend, Oz Mother Frog. Give us a dog. Just need to do it for four more years and then we'll scot we'll be scot free of all this here. We have actually seen the realm prosper. Fantastic. Let's build a great work. We'll build it here, and what great work shall it be? I always forget where the button is. Arbor, lighthouse, amphitheater, royal palace, library. I think a library. We have a lot of books and stuff. Let's build a grand library at home. We're a scholar, so it feels like that would be what we would be building if we were to build anything, which we are. Everything prospers. Wow, look at that. Um, we could go ahead and probably teach a virtue to our heir, making him a bit humble. he's deserving of this I've done him wrong I've done him so wrong he was the wise once upon a time now he's the ruthless really hurts me I've done this to him I wish I could Go back in time. Change our choices there. But I wanted to see what fear does and now we know and it's not really all that attractive. I mean if you combine it with others, maybe.
Maybe. What can we do with you guys? Five thousand grace we could uh, we could get an invasion. He's not even in a faction. We will do not fine. Well, are you good at anything yet? good at stewardship so let's put you in this I will probably have to tab out of the game to see if I got the achievement <clears throat> let's force him to build faster rather than like taxes for us I say force but it's his job the end. Still don't fully understand why we earn this much more here than over in the other area, but it is what it is. We have too many vices. Level up. Go away. Ooh, a dangerous faction has popped up. Let's see. 52. Let's make that less people in here. Everyone a little bit happier now? Marry our niece. Oh, she's way too old anyway. Here's some quick daughters. Let's do that. Gives us an aggression pact. One less. See what we can do with our little princess. Nothing here. Nothing there. Nothing anywhere. Really? Maybe with him. He's leading a bunch of stuff. Ah, you look at that. There we go. These will all vanish now, I think. Nope, not yet. They will eventually. It's not even half bad. Very good, welcome. I'm just looking at factions for no great reason. And we're closing in on where we need to go. Let's open the Chronicle, which for some reason pauses the game. doesn't say the exact date really doesn't so but once we reach 970 that should be fine are you in factions my friend 
Duke Timai. Doesn't look like it. Grace with the Chinese. He's in faction, so let us give him a humble little threat to get out of them. And yeah, that shuffles the board a little bit. Duke et Torre. He will not end this plot. Why are you plotting, boy? Ugh. Lame. I don't care. Okay, so both trade posts are up to pretty much getting the same. We'll allow the guy to stay. Maybe the Chinese do come after him. You should go in politics, my boy. What you good at? A silk shroud has been given to us because he's so happy that we let him stay. What does the silk shroud do? Intrigue plus two. And some prestige, not bad. Neat. But nothing really tops the dragon amulet that we got super early on in this. You are very much alone, aren't you? Someone wants to make you a tributary state. Well. I feel like we have grown a little bit here. Didn't hold all this before. That's alright, our vassals are slowly growing the realm as well. Now it is July and we have indeed achieved the achievement. What could have been. We have done this for 200 years, and only 1.1% of players have this achievement. And this is what could have been, and I'm really happy that once, uh, or rather, since we have gotten this achievement now, I can be done with this, because while it was fun, it was more confusing than anything <laughs> at times. The whole invasion thing constantly was a bit hard, because while all the rules are still the same, the names are so difficult that it's hard to kind of bring one and one together but looking at what we've achieved here in terms of size and strength and everything that's pretty fine that's nothing to be ashamed of and at this point we'll do as usual I'll throw a save at this just in case we ever want to pick it up again which will never happen and we click on resign because I wanted to know how long our father ruled so 20 7,599, not the highest score in the world. We started out as Countess Albina of Wengi, who then was granted the title Duchess of Wengi. She ruled for 27 years, followed by her, I'm not sure if it was her son, Duke Vincenzo, a Lionheart who ruled for 32 years, and he got the name Lionheart for being one who always, always went ahead and honored his alliances. Uh, he was then succeeded by King Eugenio, the first of his name, the Lucky, who ruled for a whopping 35 years, which is pretty long, uh, to be only followed by King Eugenio the second, the Able, ruling for 18 years. And he was our grandfather, actually. And as I expected, Emperor Duokuri 
the wise. He ruled for a whole 50 years. That's fantastic. And he is the one who created the empire in the end, who largely contributed to the size that it has now. This man was absolutely fantastic. And looking back at this family, he was probably my favorite to play as well. Uh, despite Duke Vincenzo the Lionheart always uh, being a fun one as well. And yeah, that's really nice. Uh, we ruined our legacy a little bit here, and it's not fair that he has more points than his um, father. So I think we have a, actually a direct line from here to here, so that's really cool. All right, thank you very much for joining me on this journey to figure out what could have been, and what could have been is a great big mess, which sounds about right. Sounds just about right. <laughs>